Good morning. Yes, with me, with my luscious hair. OMG. Okay, there's the bird eating her breakfast. <sighs> my boy, high squad. We have a serious issue, a problem, and I gotta show you. It's growing on my body. Don't be alarmed, but look at this. My neck. My neck. I've got a pimple. You see it? Oh my god, it's big and it hurts. <laughs> and you know why I have a pimple? It's because of the hair on my head. Okay, for those of you who are just joining, I usually shave my head. I've been shaved bald for 18 years, but for some reason, <laughs> I had the urge to grow my hair for at least three months. Um, just, you know, to have hair. But my body is not used to dealing with the hair. Like, I still have pimples on my scalp. I'm getting pimples here. I told you it would happen, and it's all because of the oils on the hair, I think. Like, hair produces oil, right? And like, after being shaved for so long, 18 years, can you imagine? Um, I'm now starting to break out. Oh. It feels like I've been bitten by a miniature vampire, seriously. Yes, Agaya, giving my bird her morning chamomile tea. Well, this is actually out all day, and she loves drinking tea. I love that my bird is a tea drinker, seriously. Really healthy for her, got a lot of good vitamins and nutrients, and it's calming to keep her relaxed. Maybe that's why I have such a chill bird, because she likes tea. Hold on, I'm coming. Ah, okay. I was gonna install your tea. Don't you want tea? Here. Tea? Not thirsty? Can make it later. <laughs> she wants me to scratch. Oh, I know. She wants to go outside. Say hi to the Mobuhai squad. Say good morning. Good morning. All she wants is a scratch. Where? You show me where. Time for scratch, scratch, scratch. Now she wants the bottom of her head scratched. She shows me where. Okay, where else? Cheeks. Where? Where? Beak. Okay. She likes when I hold on to the beak. Okay, okay. And I scratch her head. <laughs> what? Hmm? Okay, let me scratch. What a spoiled bird. Seriously. The spoilage never ends. All day, every day. Spoiled, spoiled, spoiled. This face here is the face of a spoiled African Grey. See that? <laughs> But I don't mind, I love spoiling her. Now, OMG, a bald Asian, <laughs> no more. Guys, have you picked up your merch yet? Your Mabuhai Squad merch, OMG! We finally have stuff to use and clothes to unite us from around the world, yes. This is more than just an OMG, a bald Asian mug. It's a philosophy, an outlook, an attitude in life, right? that characterizes all of us Mobuhai Squad. That's what I love about building a community on YouTube is the you guys, the viewers, gravitate to the videos and like personalities that you most identify with. And as a result, the whole community kind of has a similar, you know, disposition, out outlook, way of communicating, way of thinking. It's really great, I love that. Basically, we're all the same. Birds of a feather flock together. <gasps> Birds of a feather flock together. Uh Okay, okay. I'm drinking my coffee. Let me drink. Not allowed for birds. Not allowed. What? I know what she wants. Time for outside? Yes. I knew it. All right. Step up. Let's show Mabuhai Squad how. Whoa. Sorry. Let's show Mabuhai Squad how good you are with putting on your harness. Yes. Time for outside. Okay. Here. Why do you want to go on the table? Oh, you want this? You want this or you want to go outside? What do you want? Ready? Outside. She's eager. You're an eager beaver. Here. Good girl. Yes. Thank you. She's helping me out as usual. Wait. 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 Seriously. Oh my gosh. Oh, wait. Am I doing this right? Okay. Wow. Okay, I'm seriously doing this wrong. There. Okay, all right, and done. Let's go, step up, good girl. 
and we're off to the races. What's up, Mobu High Squad? Yes, going through the natural curtains. Woo! <laughs> These are like tree air roots. All right, good luck. <laughs> On our morning walk now, as we do every day, um, to absorb some healthy sunlight. And the guy is loving this. She really looks forward to this in the morning. She is really, really like a dog. Oh wow, someone tied these up. See that? It looks very Blair Witch projected. Oh, look at this street dog. Sadly, street dogs and cats are a big, big problem here in the Philippines. They're just everywhere. It's like as common as, say, squirrels in uh, North America. They're just everywhere. Look, see? Look at this cat. A stray cat with no home and she's pregnant. People who first move here to Manila are shocked by the amount of cats and dogs in the street and they like try to do their best to like, you know, catch them and send them over to humane society or shelter. And there are a few here in Manila, Philippines, but there's just so many. Literally, they're like squirrels here. It's just part of the cityscape, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's a really sad thing. And I find this is the case in a lot of developing and third world countries. Um, stray cats and dogs. It's, it's really sad. The guy has been working on her broccoli enrichment. Yes. But now she's looking at me. Look at how smart she is. She knows I'm heading out. She knows something's not right. <laughs> I'm dressing up. And I'm wearing a hat. Yes. Hat starts now. Hat days. You know what I'm saying? When I go out in public. Why? Because... Here, <laughs> it's so strange. I mean, not that I care about what people think when they look at me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm too old to be self-conscious that way. But this is actually kind of nice. I miss wearing hats. I used to wear hats in my 20s. Ooh, it was so fun. Stick it on and don't gotta worry about your hair or anything. You know what I'm saying? You could wear your hat like this. You could wear your hat like this. Yo, yo, yo. Ew. <laughs> Um, like this. It's so versatile, the hat, the cap. I used to love wearing my hat like this. I could just hide. It's gonna be interesting wearing hats again. I like it. So I can hide the microphone hairdo that I have underneath. You know what I'm saying? Now, wearing your hat to the side here in the Philippines is interesting. Like, basically, in, in North America, and I guess everywhere else, the word for it is like hip-hop, it's urban, it's like... I mean, back in the day, we used to use the word ghetto, but that's not... That's no longer politically correct anymore, apparently. But yeah, like, wearing your hat to the side, I guess, was okay for young people. Or even older people. I used to see, like, older men wear their hats to the side. But here, it's completely, completely, for some reason, undesirable. <laughs> They call it Jejemon, like dressing urban. It's it's supposed to have some kind of like social economic thing where it just looks really bad. They call it Jejemon. It's trashy looking and it's very undesirable. We'll see what RJ says when he sees me wearing my hat like this. <laughs> RJ cares more about my image than I do. <laughs> what if I wear it like this? What do you guys think? Hmm? And I walk around like this and maybe get a a ring here. <laughs> All right, Mabu High Squad, here at the mall. Let's go. Took my hat like this. RJ, can I wear my hat like this? Do you like it? Is it okay? All right. Before you used to say it looked too Jejemon. <laughs> I also would like to pierce my ear, re-pierce this ear. Why? Because it closed recently. I haven't put anything in it. This one is still... There's a hole here. My nose ring hole, of course, closed. I had a tongue ring at one point. My eyebrow pierced twice. There's a scar. I'm a pierced tattoo retiree. <laughs> okay, so we're here shopping for materials because I want to make a new cover for Ligaya's cage at night. I'm liking this. We're also looking at animals. Hi, ma'am. This lady is helping us out. <laughs> She's like, you're the Turon guy. My Turon, I love it. I love to run, I love it. Yes. Okay, and but also looking at like plain prints like this. Wouldn't that be nice? I don't know. Gotta see. Yeah. Um wow. Oh that one. They're all good. We're going with these ones because like the material is thick. You don't want light to enter the cage. We're actually also gonna put a black like layer underneath. 
Hmm, this looks very Filipino actually, like the mountains, right? Hmm. All right, we've decided on this because it makes us feel happy. Thank you, Ate. All right, Mabuhay Squad, time to put the Macau magnet on the fridge. We'll put it right under Iloilo, Philippines, right beside Guimaras, Philippines, adjacent to Calgary, Canada. Now, one of you guys made an amazing recommendation in that in the new house, we create a board for all of the magnets containing all the places we've been to, right? But we organize it by like continent. Like we'll actually create some kind of map and stick that place on that map. I think that would be pretty awesome if we could pull that off. Um, also, fresh slate, of course, right? It's a new year um, and a new month. So, if you're new to the channel, this here is our positive affirmations board. Now, what is a positive affirmation? It's more than just like a positive saying, like, love is blind or whatever, you know what I mean? It's, it's something you affirm to yourself and the mind is funny in that with repetition, you can sort of condition it to believe something, um, anything really, and then it will start to show up in your life. Like, the mind is weird that way. Um, anyway, that's something I've been doing my whole life. You can do positive affirmations about absolutely anything, about yourself, about um, life in general, um, and it, it just generally helps with affirming positive beliefs, creating a positive belief system so that your mind creates and attracts that in your life. It's law of attraction, one on one. All right, so positive affirmation for January. Okay, and uh, the positive affirmation I want to do now is I achieve all my goals with flying colors and more. There you go. Say it with me, guys. I achieve all my goals with flying colors and more. Yes. What's up, Mobile High Squad? Okay, so RJ and I are here. There's RJ. Yes. We're here because we are going to be meeting with Architect Dennis. Of course, you guys know Architect Dennis. He's the one working on the Mabuhay Squad farm house, which should be built in about a year to a year and a half. Um, just gonna meet with him to double check, make sure everything's okay, make sure all the permits are secured, follow up on the advancements. I believe they are going to be starting the actual like foundation laying soon. Um, and while waiting for him, of course, I ordered cheesecake. Mm -hmm. Yum. Of cheesecake. Mm -hmm. Got my tea. Mabuhay squad, it's Architect Dennis. Hi. Yes, Happy New Year. Good to see you again. He comes bearing good news. Permits are okay so far? Yes. Yay. All right, and now he's showing us fencing. Apparently, we've got clearance for the building of the fence, and we're gonna start building that first. Here are the plans. Thank you. He's going over the plans right now. Guys, look at the plans for the fence. Isn't that crazy? Look at how complex a fence can be. It's very detailed. It's so detailed. Wow. And we are still going to have like inspirational positive quotes on the fence. You see that? And then there will be bamboo growing here. This allows for wind to pass onto the property. Um, just so it, you know, it's nice and airy. I love that. It's so unique. All right, so we're just going over the home now. This is what it will look like now. We changed this to wood instead of glass. We made a few changes here and there, but this is generally what the front looks like. I actually like the new roof. It's nice. It's a lot flatter. It's not so like tall. I like that. Okay. Then uh, you can view from there. You can view. All right. Ooh, he's telling us about these. This fencing here, we can attach epiphytic plants on it so we can grow from there. How gonna awesome. be yeah. OMG guys, this is the second floor of the ant room. You see that? Um, and look at this. Um, we can put lizards here, any kind of critters. You can even build like glass, whatever here. And you can peek over this edge and see the bottom floor of the ant room. <gasps> and it's, it's designed now um, 
in a kind of lounge style so we could also use this as a lounging area like if I just want to work around my pets or something just lounge out here how awesome and are you guys able to build this structure yes. or yeah wow oh wow that is That's so cool seriously <laughs> oh this is great he says he can even put piping inside this and water can like drip out of there <gasps> I already know I want to put like a chameleon here or something some kind of lizard Oh wow, that is so neat. It looks like a cave. That is awesome. And like the animals can like drink from that water. Mm, yes, bro. Oh, so neat. And then, and then this one bro, we can enclose it with glass wall. Only the wall but not the top. Yeah, just the, like at the front, a glass. Okay, that's cool. It would be like a living pen. I foresee putting an iguana here during the day like as a pen or I don't know, like some kind of lizard. They cannot go. My boy squad. First We're looking at the kitchen. It's crazy, but RJ says he doesn't want to show the kitchen because he wants it to be a surprise. But it looks so nice. Dennis, that's really, really nice. Yeah, we really like this. Like, mm -hmm. This motive, it, you, you'll see it throughout the house. I like that. What is that? Bal Bali? Yeah, Bali. That's Balinese. Okay. And then we have trellis here. Trellis wood. Wood trellises, I guess. And. He says we can hang pl vine plants yeah. here and all of that. Uh, from the yeah. aviary. Oh, cool. Yeah. We have full view of the dining area from the kitchen right there. The aviary is here. All right, cool. Oh, I like this area. I really like this cold stone wall. You can put plant there. It's nice, no? yeah. Oh, it's so nice. This one is nice. Yeah, and he says sunlight can stream from here because there's a big window. Mm -hmm. So it can like give sunlight to these plants. Oh, how neat. This is my mom's, my mom and dad's bedroom. The senior room on the first floor. Is that the senior room? Yeah, okay. Mommy, daddy, that's for you guys. <laughs> so you don't gotta climb stairs. Oh, here we go. Wow. The ant room, guys. I can't wait. The first floor of the ant room. This is gonna be full of aquariums and ant kingdoms. Woo, can't wait. And different species. Love it. Yeah, oh, I'll put all sorts of things in, in that shelving. This, that shelving will also be there too? Yeah. Oh. We're going to construct it. Oh, sweet. It's part of the divider. And then there's a sink area here for when I get my hands dirty, like this, landscaping all of these terrariums. All right. Ooh, look at all the bathrooms. Oh, love it. See, my mom and dad will have a his and her sink. When my parents get here, I have to ask them if they prefer a bathtub or a stand-up shower. I'm not too sure what they'll prefer. But we're going to also put grab rails. Yeah, there'll be grab rails for them so that they can grab on. Um, these tiles are Filipino. Oh, Spanish. Machuca tiles. I like it. It's so nice. It looks nice, nice, nice and clean. clean. Mm -hmm. Nice. Love. Oh, guys, look at the studio room. This is just one angle of it. See? We got places for music. There's a recording booth somewhere here too, right? Yeah. On the side, we've got lounge couches for us to hang out. We will be putting tables here for working. We could brainstorm in this room. This is basically our creative space. Oh, I like it. And these are curtains, so I can I can move the curtains and then we could see the outside. Right? Awesome. See, so nice sunlight to stimulate our brains. OMG, guys. Look, the inside of the aviary. See that? Okay, so instead of making it all glass um, and kind of like, you know, making it confusing for the birds, there will be a back sort of like wall. I like that the back wall is stone. That looks so nice. And then they're gonna have some high windows which go into the studio room. Oh, I like that idea. I like that better than just glass all around. It somehow frames the aviary as a centerpiece right when you walk in the house and you see this back wall. Oh, I like it. And like when we're in the studio space and we're creating, we don't want to be distracted by like things that are going on in the yeah. living room. You know what I mean? So I kind of like that there's that wall there. It's not all glass all around the aviary. And it actually helps the birds too because they know that there's a wall behind them. And you know what I'm saying? Very cool. So the aviary guys, by the way, is six meters by six meters. So we're, we're thinking of growing trees inside of course um, and we're, we still have to decide what species of tree we want to grow in the aviary it'll be basically a place where Ligaya can hang out during the day possibly have other birds not too sure other animals even it's right at the center of the house and I like that there's a waterfall 
inside as well. Very refreshing. Also. And some lighting also. So oh, night. there'll be lighting in the fountain in the yes, aviary. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, so at night it'll look nice. <gasps> That's awesome. Oh, and I'm, I'm positive if we get other birds, they will love to bathe in this water fountain. Well, that is so neat. And this is coming from like piping, right? Yes, bro. It's not pooling. Oh, good. So it's clean water all the time. OMG, my boy squad. Check this out. Okay, is this living room area or what is this? Yes, bro. This is living room area, right? And there's the aviary. Look at that. Okay, so we discussed that the aviary at the back will be a stone wall. But now we're looking into the option of having part of it perforated like this. It looks like wood, but it's not. It's actually stainless steel that's colored like wood. And then every other panel is glass instead of all glass. I also like the look of this too, actually. It kind of sections off the aviary into its own space instead of all glass. And he says air can move like freely into the aviary and out. So it's beneficial also for the birds. So I'm thinking this is good. The only problem is you can't really air condition the yeah. space. The, the cold air will go into the aviary and out of the house through the top. So we got to really consider like during the hottest months of the Philippines, will this area be uncomfortable to stay in? You know, so these are things we got to consider. Dust coming from outside. Yeah, correct. Because the aviary at the top is uh, ventilated. It's perforate. It's there will be a screen and it, it'll be able the rain will be able to enter the aviary. So, you know, all of that air would also come into the home so we're, we're really considering that as well but it looks so nice look at that oh and this is a six meter by six meter aviary so it's huge okay we came up with a good compromise we're gonna have these perforated things and glass on the outside so we're using both so that no dust comes in no water comes in um, but we still have the benefit of that nice shade and that look to separate the aviary space from this indoor living space. Wow, look at the view from inside the aviary, guys. Oops, awesome. That's huge. And Dennis was showing us how big six meters by six meters is because we were having a hard time visualizing it. It's basically from all the way at the end of that where the cheesecake is. See where I'm pointing there? All the way to down here. That's six meters. So an aviary all the way down there, two down here, and then all the way down there, six meters. That's, that's huge. Ligaya will be able to free fly. Here, let's do an example. Let's free fly all the way to the other side. Flying, flying, flying. Crazy, right? All the way to where, from here to where Dennis and RJ are. That's a huge aviary. OMG kids, this is how adults play. <laughs> This is adult toys now. <gasps> Can't wait to build this. This is the aviary of my dreams. OMG guys, swim up bar. <gasps> I can't wait to have breakfast there and have parties, drink some wine. Wow guys, other angle of the top floor of the ant room. I really like that. Oh, and I can't wait to put stuff here. <gasps> that would be awesome. I really love, I just love the feel of it already. And this is a view, back top view of the property from behind. Sweet, sweet. The view from the side. I love that the whole ant room just kind of like juts out of the home. That'll be so neat. All right. See the ant room? That's a big piece of glass right there. Some nice sunlight can go streaming in there. And then there's the top of the aviary, which will be perforated, right? Yeah, so that air can flow in. You know what I mean? And rain can also enter and feed the plants and trees that we have in there. Yeah, at the top, we're gonna put solar panels there. All right. OMG, guys. He's saying that with solar panels, we can have zero electric bill. Wow, that's amazing. And because we um, can get our water from a natural source, also our water hydro bill will be lower. Oh, that is so neat. I didn't know. I always thought it was like a mix of like city power and our power. But no, during the day, you have 100% of the power that you absorb from the sunlight. Neat. All right, Dennis. So are we ready to build? Oh man, I'm so excited. I can't believe it. It's actually happening. Wow, 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 wow. What, what day do you anticipate possibly we might be able to start? Probably uh, January 21. January 21. OMG. Wow. All right. Thank you so much, Dennis. Mabuhay Squad. If you need a house design, 
Architect Dennis is the man. www.lizardearchitectsbuilders.com Yes. And we are based in Mojave City. All right. But you can also design homes if they're outside of Philippines as yes, well, right? Yes, we can do that also. All right. Anywhere in the world. Anywhere in the world. Or renovations. Or renovations. All right. That's sweet. Thank you. OMG, look guys. We've got some plans for the aviary. You're going to have lots of space to free fly. Mm-hmm. Lots and lots of space. Hey, there's even probably space for you to have a bird friend. We'll see. What do you think? Hmm? Maybe another African Grey or another... Maybe a, a Pionis. I'd love to have a Pionis. Hmm? Perhaps an Amazon. Sir Roland has spoken highly about Amazons, guys. Yes. Whatever. You will always be number one. Mm -hmm. Can't wait to see you in the aviary. Can't wait. Bedtime soon. Mm -hmm. Bedtime soon. Time for sleep, sleep, sleep. Time for sleep, sleep, sleep. She's so sleepy. But this is our preening time. Mm -hmm. Time for sleep, sleep, sleep. Yes. Good morning, Mobile High Squad. Yes. Look at the progress. Progress of, of the hair. Slowly growing in. <laughs> Very weird. Um, heading now to one of my favorite places ever in the city here in Manila. And um, I'm always happy to take you here. All right, guys, here we are once again at one of my favorite places ever. Boy Squad, welcome to 